guys. Well, I originally shot an intro, but uh, for some reason my front facing camera isn't doing audio very well right now. So I'm gotta use my iPhone, so bear with me. Um, I'm out here at uh, one of my spots of land over here in Lawrence County, Mississippi. And uh, I got a pretty good bit of tin and board set out. Uh, it's a little chilly today. I should find something. Um, maybe some rain next. Uh, there's some coach whips here, racers, uh, timber rattlesnakes. Just uh, come along with me and let's see what we can find. All right, guys, I just flipped this log. Got my first Mississippi slimy salamander. He's just about to go in the log, though. That was it. He fell out. Yep. They are slippery. That is a Mississippi slimy salamander, guys. They are definitely pretty. All right, guys, I decided not to take any pictures of this guy because the lighting just isn't good in this area right here. I'm kind of in the woods. So I'm letting back under his log. Right down in a hole. Uh, I like the, how this piece of tin looks, so we're gonna flip it live. Nothing. That's about right. One more piece of tin that's in the sun already this morning. Oh, there's a male five lines kink. And he's gone. Nothing else though. I don't know about you guys. Just spots like this really make me happy. Just flipped that piece of tin with nothing on it. But there's a lot of logs to be flipped. See if I can't find anything. Alright guys, I just flipped this next piece of tin here. There's a female five line skink right there. I see a lot of these are in Mississippi, but it's still nice to see under your piece of tin that you laid out about three weeks ago. So. All right, on to the next one. Just want to share a tip with you guys. Um, when you're flipping pieces of tin boards or anything in that matter you know it's it's good to when you pick it up the first place you want to look is where your hand was that way if there's you know a venomous snake under it you know it's right there your eyes are already right there by your hand and it will react a lot faster but just a good tip i just got done flipping that gnarly piece of tin there Walking along the wood line, found this bottom jaw of the wild hog. And wild hogs are a, a huge pest animal in Mississippi. They tear up a lot of farmland, tear up a lot of natural vegetation, and 
make a mess of the place. I don't like seeing sign of it here, but it is what it is, but let's move on. So oh, guys, I decided to stop at the pond. Pick me up a little snack. And blackberries are ripening up good. And uh comes Alfred he's a gator that uh, wandered to this pond about three years ago I'd say and he seems to be doing pretty good he's eating a bunch of turtles and fish that are in the pond Got a muddy face, it looks like. I feed him fish every once in a while, I want to catch him. Better look at Alfred. Come on. Yeah, he keeps an eye over the pond and keeps the turtle population down, so he ain't hurting nothing. I don't, I don't know how long he'll stick around in this pond, but he's more than welcome. All right, guys. A little green anola flipped under a piece of tin. Very common in Mississippi, but decided I'd show y'all since I ain't find it very much. Let him go on the back up by the business. Whoop. There's a spotted dusky salamander. Two of them. Here, very common in this wetland here, and they are very hard to catch sometimes. These are cooperating and posing for the camera, so I'm gonna leave them alone. Normally, they scurry off into a hole or in the water, but. You can see the habitat that's in. This is a, it, we just got a lot of rain yesterday. I mean, probably three and a half inches. And all oh, this is just a wash all the way down to a swamp. Uh, there, these uh, spotted duskies are everywhere. You a better look at them. All right, I stopped here just to show y'all the habitat that you know that this is normally where I look for salamanders, you know, ribbon snakes and stuff like that. Let's find a bunch of spotted salamanders, Mississippi sli uh, slimy salamanders, and three line salamanders. Nice little wetland here, and across the fence here, it goes back all the way to a creek, uh, about a half a mile. I've probably walked every single bit of it, honestly. Uh, there's a nice vernal pool. You usually see some larvae swimming around in it, but 
you get a lot of rain it normally gets washed out though so and this is a good spot here you see all the little broken up pieces of you know, logs and stuff my live flip most of these pieces and see what we can find a good rule of thumb if you you're not finding much you need to be flipping more you flip everything you can you'll eventually find something If you don't get out in the woods and look, you won't find anything. Kind of like fishing. If you ain't got a bait in the water, then you ain't gonna catch anything. Now here's the good pieces here. The worm. Kind of surprised that piece didn't have a salamander on it. Oh. Slippery piece. No salamanders. Nothing. Am I really going to get through this whole log without finding that one salamander? Oh. Spotted dusky. There you go. You don't want to flip all the little pieces too. I mean, that's not too small, not like sticks or anything, but you'll find something if you keep at it. Let's go flip this piece right here. Nothing. Alright, I'll see y'all again when I find something. Found some more logs. Always put the cover back where you like you found it. And if you don't. It ruins that spot. Really didn't wear the the proper footwear to be in the bottom lands down here, but I ain't finding much snakes or anything, so trying to put a video together, guys. Stay tuned. Guys, I flipped this piece of tin. There is a skink completely buried in an ant bed. That is a brave son of a gun. I mean, look at all the ants. The son of a gun is just buried in them. He's not getting the move. Little guy actually just flipped a three line salamander underneath a piece of tin. This one looks like a pretty one, too. We'll get him out and take some good photos of him. Right, I'm 
headed home now. Um, not much luck. Didn't find much. Just those few salamanders and lizards. Uh, didn't see the first snake. Um, what I'll do, I'll go home and today and tomorrow I'll, I got some boards and tent at the house around the pastures and stuff and I'll hurt there for a little bit and see what I can turn up and add it to this video. Stay tuned. We got a smooth earth snake, a western smooth earth snake. Yep, a western smooth earth snake. Look at that belly. Might be a small fossorial species, but they're still beautiful to me. All right, guys, I just flipped. Well, if I can catch it. Just flipped. This looks to be a female. Five line skink. Come on. Ow. Sorry about the video, guys. I'm doing everything one-handed. Yeah, that. There's female. Ow. Five line skink. And for their size, they they bite hard. Very common around the house and everywhere in that matter in Mississippi still like seeing them catch them every once in a while take pictures and stuff but, yep there's that I'm gonna let him go come on let go, let go of my finger go there she goes. Well, guys, wasn't expecting this today. Just came back here behind the house to check some of my boards. It being a pretty cool night tonight. I put out some more tin that I had. Come on, where you going? And my first speckled king snake of the year i don't know if you can tell how bright yellow his belly is on this phone camera but that is a gorgeous snake well, i'm gonna put him back under his board and hopefully he sticks around for a little bit All right, guys, the same speckled king here. I actually ran in the house with the snake, got my camera, decided to take some good photographs of it since it is the first one of the year. Now I'm gonna let him go back under his board and hopefully he sticks around. He's got plenty of field mice and woodland voles to eat. Let's let him go. I kind of wants to get to my camera here. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's let him go.
still got a little bit of that juvenile pattern to him, but probably not gonna last another one or two sheds. Oh, he's going back out to the other side of the board. Well guys, didn't have much luck back at the house. Um, yesterday I went around seeing what I could find. I found a speckled king snake, which was an unexpected find. I haven't seen one here yet uh, this year. Um, it's a, you know, mid-adult, you know, still had a little bit of juvenile pattern left on him. The smooth air snake was a, a pretty rare one around here. We don't see many smooth air snakes. My second one ever. Um, the skink was, you know, pretty common around the house. See them all the time. But just wanted to show y'all. Just trying to put a video together. Uh, guys, I'm pretty, pretty new to YouTube, so um, making YouTube videos that is. But I'm trying, you know, video quality might not be the best. You know, shot off my iPhone, and you know, I'm not the best at it yet. But I'm, I'm working on it. It's kind of weird talking to the camera, but uh, I'll get there. But the, uh, the weather wasn't the best this weekend it was uh saturday it was in the mid 40s uh in the morning and only got up to around 68 but uh you know that wasn't too good but today it got up to 75 and i thought i'd get you know some racers today but uh i didn't even see one i went i went out about nine o'clock this morning uh didn't see any went out again about 12 30 and didn't see any i didn't see anything today but uh Hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, please let me know what y'all think. And uh, see y'all next week. Have a good one.